Hi, welcome to Washingtonian Plastic Surgery. I'm Dr. Naveen Singh. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon and I want to talk to you about laser liposuction. Laser liposuction is one of those exciting things that's sort of taken the plastic surgery world by storm. And by storm I mean really in the last four or five years. Our practice was on the forefront of that technology and we adopted laser lipo and smart lipo quite quickly. Nationally lipo um, is one of the most common procedures done and in our practice it's one of the most commonly requested procedures and we do lots and lots of it every day. So what is laser liposuction? This is my hand holding the laser wand probe and it's got an aiming beam on it. But what happens is once it's inside the body, we activate it, it causes thermoacoustic ablation of the fat cells, increased collagen deposition, tightens up the blood vessels, tightens up the collagen, and what we get is a less painful procedure with a faster recovery and more uniform extraction of fat. Now nothing's perfect, but this is one of the innovations that helps us achieve better and better results. In particular, liposuction used to be done on people that were just young and their skin recoiled and responded appropriately. With the advent of laser liposuction, we find that the laser helps tighten up the skin and helps give better results, especially in people who are middle-aged. The concept behind liposuction is simple. We're going to take lumpy bodies and convert them into smooth, contoured, tapered bodies. What we want to do is go in with covert little incisions, get rid of the fat, get rid of those bad areas of lumpy fat, but leave the right fat in the right areas to keep those curves. We go in from multiple little areas to help create a grid for uniform extraction of fat and create natural looking contours. So this is a picture of what fat looks like coming out. Guess what? It looks like that going in. We just don't realize it because it's bundled in in our food. From several areas, we can remove fat, sometimes the love handles, the tummy, the inner outer thighs, under the chin, to give you a sense of volumes of fat that might come out. From a typical, let's say, upper back, we may get 350 cc's out. That's about a can of Coke on each side. On the love handles, about 500 cc's. On an average tummy, about a bottle of wine, that's 750 cc's. And there's some people, when we look at the multiple areas that we're gonna take fat out from, you may get a liter or even two liters of fat out. Most of the stuff that comes out is fat. There's a little bit of fluid and there's a small amount of blood. The blood loss is only about 1%. These are the common areas that people request laser liposuction for. And remember, it's strategic. We don't wanna just go in and, and take out the fat. We want to keep those curves. We wanna keep those contours. And these are the commonly requested areas in men. So the areas that you're typically thinking about, people have thought about those too, and chances are they're common. So with liposuction, in particular smart lipo, it's not just about debulking or removing the fat, it's about shaping it and converting your body shape from that maybe pear-shaped or apple-shaped into a nice hourglass shape. Or in men, from an endomorph to maybe a mesomorph or an ectomorph. So it's all about shaping and toning. I'll walk through several examples of areas that have been liposuction. This is a chin liposuction, another patient with chin liposuction, and you can see when people have lots of extra fat, they can get a very nice result through those areas. This guy complained of his collar always chafing against the extra fat, and he was improved after laser liposuction. In laser liposuction, even with patients who have some extra fat and some extra skin, we can get a nice result and create a better cervical mental angle. What does that mean? It means a sharper defined jawline. People who have a little bit of extra fat can also benefit from it, and some people have this as a hereditary condition. Liposuction works great in the chest area. This person was a doctor himself, and he underwent liposuction of his chest to remove all of that extra fat, and gave him all the confidence in the world, especially in intimate settings. This guy is a young, active guy, and yet he's always been frustrated for these little puffy nipples that he had on his chest since childhood, and they're gone with laser lipo. What we find is that, especially in heavy people, testosterone that's normally produced goes into the circulation and becomes converted into estrogen by the extra fat, and that's what creates, in an impolite world, man boobs. To get rid of that, oftentimes you need to not only get rid of the extra fat on the chest, but get rid of the extra fat, especially around the love handles of the lower tummy, which is taking the man's testosterone and converting it into estrogen through a peripheral aromatase enzymatic mechanism. 
we see another example of a very nice outcome. And he went to the beach a couple of months after his procedure on a vacation in the Caribbean, felt all the confidence in the world, laying poolside, keeping his shirt off, similarly in the gym or the, or, uh, or the beach. This young man had a couple of little frustrating areas, his chest, his love handles, and his lower tummy, and he's got a nice muscular physique now. And in men, when we liposuction the love handles, we want athletic V cuts. We sort of want the straight line of beauty in a man and the curved line of beauty in a woman. And we'll see some examples of curved lines in women, but in men, we typically like an athletic V shape. This guy was a soldier, just had frustrating areas, and had to, quote unquote, make tape by getting rid of this bulky area around his love handles. And that's his appearance at 10 days. The bruising is gone, and he's going to get even better and better over time. This, this young man did it right before his wedding, got a beautiful outcome, and was able to fit into a nice suit and look great for his wedding day. So it's not just women who get liposuction for their uh, big day. It's guys as well. Liposuction of the tummy and love handles. Liposuction of the arms. This uh, woman had a frustrating area was treated with laser liposuction for a nice, smooth result. An athletic person exercises, works out, just has some frustrating areas, improved with laser lipo. This woman underwent laser lipo of her tummy, and you can see the nice contrast and improved contour that she has. So what are the mechanisms of laser liposuction? Well, it's thought to, to work through a combination of photoacoustic ablation of adipocytes, selective photothermal lysis of the fibrous septae. So what does all this Google do mean? It means basically it's shattering the fat cells, helping us remove a uniform amount of fat, creating good contours, and tightening up the skin. I know that you don't care about all the mechanics of it, you just care about the result. Laser liposuction has taken a procedure that, that used to be done under general anesthesia and allows us to do it with a prescription for Valium or just a prescription for Percocet. This woman is literally working on her Blackberry while we're liposuctioning her thighs. This is done through a combination of local medicine. Basically, it's injections like you might have at the dermatologist's office or at the dentist's office. We mix a numbing medicine into the fluid, and it's sort of like fracking the fat out. Most people will do laser liposuction of a couple of areas awake, but some people may choose to do it under twilight sedation. Regardless of whether you're under sedation or a wide awake, people are able to move and position themselves so we can work on all of those areas from all of the angles that are necessary to obtain an optimal result. When they've done studies with MRIs on patients after liposuction, you can see a discrete and clear decrease in the outer fatty layers that helps give patients the best result possible. This is a 60-year-old guy. You know, he's still uh, in the prime of his life. He's still working out, still dynamic, and he got a terrific result as we etched out his abdomen, etched out his lat and his serratus to give him that sculpted athletic look. Uh, this guy is young, vibrant, active, a bit of a personality around town, and you can see the results that he's had with liposuction of his abdomen, flanks, and outer thighs. This guy is a school teacher, tired of that little uh, Michelin man spare tire around his lower tummy, got rid of that in a couple of hours, back to school, back to teaching, and enjoying his life and enjoying his new improved appearance. Sometimes laser liposuction is just an adjunct to toning. This guy was in pretty good shape, and we got him in even better shape. If you look at the pictures before and after, he sculpted out and has an even better body than he started out with. This woman had a little pudge in the lower abdomen, gone. This woman had a little baby bump but never had a baby, gone. before and after. And what I like to say is that skin right after surgery is going to be like jeans hot out of the dryer. It's going to be tight. It's going to be crispy. It's going to be stiff. It's not going to move like your normal skin. But just like when you wear your jeans over the day, they soften up and you say, oh yeah, these are my jeans. It's going to be the same thing, except instead of taking a day, it takes four to six weeks. Sometimes liposuction can be combined with a mini tummy tuck, as it was done in this woman who did it wide awake to give her a new lease on life and a better area in her lower tummy where she was pooching after having had two kids. Another patient with a mini tummy tuck done awake. And the scar is a bikini tuck line scar in the lower abdomen. And this can be a nice alternative to a full tummy tuck. Mini tuck and lipo. 
showing you liposuction of the flanks. And this woman who had no butt, because we were able to liposuction all the extra fat out from our underflanks, all of a sudden we carved out a buttock from her fat areas around her back. A lot of people say, I feel like there's a smaller one inside the bigger one of me. And indeed there is. With a combination of a tummy tuck and liposuction, we can reveal the inner, thinner you. Many people are frustrated by the back rolls. They can exercise, and yet in a tight bra or even in a loose bra, those rolls can stick out. Sometimes there's extra skin, and that might need to be directly cut out. But for those who have a combination of fat and skin, often that can be significantly improved or even eradicated with laser liposuction. And you can see several examples of how that's improved. So we want to take your fat and turn it into fit. And we get compliments and we get testimonials that encourage you to look at our website for those. You want to find a doctor that's had good reviews, that's board certified. This person had lipo of her tummy. She's in the lingerie football league and got a great result of her abdomen. Who's going to be a good candidate for liposuction of the tummy? And there's some people that come in that are great candidates and others that are not. This MRI depicts before and after with laser liposuction where the extra fat layer is gone and significantly improved. So the abdomen can often be like an avocado. You know, the, the pit is the organs. That's the kidneys, intestines, liver, etc. You can't touch that. The surgeons can't touch that. The only way you can lose fat that's around the organs or is in the pit is through diet and exercise or in very severe cases through a stomach bypass or gastric stapling. So there are people who have different shapes of their tummy. There's some people that have a lot of fruit and a small pit, and there's some people that have a small amount of fruit and a lot of pit. If you've got a lot of pit, laser liposuction is not going to help that tummy. But if you've got a lot of fruit, that might be improved with laser liposuction or possibly a tummy tuck or a combination of those two. You see laser liposuction of the lower tummy and flanks, lower tummy. Here's laser liposuction of that muffin top area. And you can see her before, then two months, then four months. As the swelling comes down, her result is better and better. And it makes everything in her body look proportionately better. The buttock looks better because her love handles have come in. This woman uh, liposuctioned her buttock to make it smaller. This woman had her saddlebags. So she's a busy professional. She came in five days after surgery. You see a little bit of bruising. That's going to totally go away within two weeks. And she's got an outstanding result. And she's back at work in three to four days. Another case of saddlebags, love handles and outer thighs love handles, inner and outer thighs, to give her nice contour around her legs and so that her thighs don't touch. Now, not in every case can we tell you that your thighs won't touch after laser liposuction. It depends on the shape of your femurs, of your thigh bone, of your muscles, how much muscle you have, and how much fat you have. But there are many cases where we're able to give a little bit of that gap between the legs and to prevent chafing. Love handles in the back of the thighs, love handles, Banana roll, which is the back of the thigh. Back and love handles. And inner and outer thighs. And believe it or not, this is a picture of her holding her own fat at the end of the procedure. And that's one of the powerful things about laser liposuction. And this is the view from the back. We're trying to give you nice curves. Remember we mentioned that in men it's a straight line of duty and in women, the curved line of beauty. We want to create those nice hourglass, those nice violin curves. And we go in with little needle holes. And in this woman, the needle hole is not visible unless she lifts up her buttock cheek. And you can see we've placed it in sort of top secret locations. Everybody heals differently, and some scars will become almost invisible. But other patients may have scars that are still visible as needle holes or mosquito bites. And this woman was a plastic surgeon herself. She came to me for laser liposuction and we're able to give her a nice contour around her legs. So it's all about proportions. When we improve the areas around the tummy or the thighs, it makes everything else proportionately look that much better. There are some unusual areas that people come in for. Calves can be improved. So what I like to say is whether your body shape is an apple or a pear, 
we're going to give you a jump start. But just after you get a jump start, you know, you don't turn the car off and go inside. You got to keep that motor revving. And we need the same commitment from you. That is healthy eating and diet and exercise. Those are going to be the key things to help you maintain the result that we're going to give you. And we're all going to strive towards perfection. It's not always achievable, but we're committed towards getting as outstanding a result as is possible. Thank you so much for your time. I look forward to seeing you in the office and look forward to delivering your goals.